the night watchman, on the night of March 25th, as the cold wind howled through the windows of the old school, the watchman Nikola Ivanovich began his shift. He was an elderly man with a gray beard and dim eyes that had seen much in his lifetime. The school where he worked had long been unused. It had been closed several years ago due to its, but Nikola Ivanovich didn't want to leave it. He had grown up in this village, attended this school, and it had become a part of his life. At midnight, when silence enveloped the village, Nikola Ivanovich heard a strange sound. It was like the rustling of paper coming from the corridor. He grabbed his flashlight and left the guardhouse to investigate the sound. Walking down the dark corridor, Nikola Ivanovich felt the cold seep into his skin. Suddenly, he heard the sound again, this time more clearly. It was coming from the director's office, which was at the end of the corridor. Nikola Ivanovich approached the door of the office and put his ear to it. He heard someone or something shuffling through papers. He slowly opened the door and peered inside. The office was flooded with moonlight, which streamed through the dirty windows. At the director's table sat a figure. It was a thin woman with long black hair, dressed in an old-school uniform. The woman didn't move when Nikola Ivanovich entered the office. He approached her to get a better look. Her face was pale and expressionless, and her eyes glowed with a dim green light. Nikola Ivanovich felt a terror grip his heart. He wanted to scream, but he couldn't make a sound. The woman slowly raised her head and looked at Nikola Ivanovich, her lips stretched into a horrible smile. It's time, she whispered. And then Nikola Ivanovich woke up. He was sitting in the guardhouse, his face covered in cold sweat. He looked at the clock. It was 3 a.m. He didn't know what to think about what had happened. Was it a dream? Or had he really seen a ghost? Nikola Ivanovich couldn't shake the feeling of horror until the end of his shift. He never heard the strange sounds again, but the night school remained a place of terror for him forever.